Okay, just another delivery that came in today. Um, it's been a few things coming today, of course, but uh, this is the Mtron ES4. Um, very nice looking unit. Uh, comes with a um, quite uh, good manual that you can go through. Uh, now, I think the lead came with it. <laughs> it's very possible the lead came with this too. Uh, we'll get to that. Okay, so the lead may or may not come with it. Hang on. Let's have a look. Does it need a... No, the lead would have come with the other one. Righto. Forget what I just said then. Uh, yeah, so, okay. The lead comes with it. <laughs> Forget about the USB lead. That's for the other one. Um, so, this black lead comes with it, which connects your uh, ES4 radio antenna selector and radio selector. This is the great thing about the ES4. Um, I've got the ES1 or 2, I can't remember, um, here. Uh, but this gives you three radios, so basically one, two, three, little push buttons there. To select two, five antennas, one, two, three, four, five. So um, this box is a nice box. You know, like most antenna selectors are a pain in the butt because, because you've generally got to get the cables to them and where you want them to be, um, they generally, you know, not exactly um, uh, easy to get the cables sort of out there in the front. So this is a nice way to... to um, connect up with um, this fella here and uh, have to check the RCA connector is so I'm guessing they have a transmit RCA dun, dun, dun. yeah I'll check that out in a minute um, and uh, get back to you on that we'll have a look at the manual um, have a nice little bracket too which I think is great um, this bracket handy just to sort of be able to mount this on your desk and um, you know better clip it on there and say righto uh, so they really thought that out a couple little screws on the bottom for it as well now let's have a look how they do it. The, the one great thing about this is that uh, if you are like me, you've got multiple amplifiers, you probably don't need multiple amplifiers. Well, with this box, you definitely don't need multiple amplifiers. Um, this allows you basically to run the PTT lines and ALC lines off three radios, and then basically radio one, two, three, um, it then selects and obviously accordingly gives you the... Uh, uh, the um, antenna switching, sorry, output, and also the switching for the amplifier, etc. So really nice, actually, how they do this. So basically, um, the amp feeds into here. Your connections for your radios feed into here. And you've got, actually, also uh, the amplifier input over here. So you'll actually be putting your input um, lead over here and your output over here. So it's a very modern way of being able to run uh, an excessive amount of antennas with an excessive amount of watts off an excessive amount of radios, you know. Um, and look, it was under, i trying to think now, I reckon it was under 400 bucks. I, I look, I, oh, it's under three, four, I can't remember what I paid for it now. Look, uh, to be honest, I reckon it was just under 400, I think. Um, but just check me out on that because um, um, I forget very fast what um, things cost because I, I normally tell people that things cost 10 or $12 because that's when I tell the missus, but... Um, Anyway, so, good little manual that goes with it, um, and uh, a lot of information on just how things light up when you're basically running your amplifier and which PTT you're on as well, um, so that's, that's kind of handy. Uh, generally, you won't see this box. You've probably got it hidden away behind your, um, you know, sort of desk, etc., down the floor somewhere, and you'll generally sort of see the... PTT indicated that they're indicating on this box over here at this point. Oops, sorry, at that point there. You'll see this on the front of the box. So they pretty much translate um, everything on the front of this box here. A uh, couple little things they may be just missing. Uh, oh, they're only really power LED. Yeah, okay. But um, really, you'll see everything on this box. And I suppose the thing would be to, to use a little, um, you know, dyno label and just make up little labels for what's actually going on there. Something that you can sort of remove easily too if you change, you know, and uh, need to um, relabel it, etc. But yeah, it certainly goes through all the coaxial connections, all the RCA connections, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, look, you, you have a good read through this. And uh, uh, this is probably actually, this is the mud map that probably helps you the most. Um, uh, and they've done it really, really well, the colour. Uh, just to show you sort of where everything goes. So like we were saying before, you know, three input radios, um, dummy load go to, you can go to antenna five or really any antenna. Um, then you've got four other antenna ports. Um, um, 
Isn't it funny they don't put anything on A3 there? That really should be. Anyway, <laughs> um, amplifier in and out. A or C from the amp, obviously, just coming across to there, so that's easy. And then they just basically introduce the, uh, sorry, they introduce the switching uh, just there of how they can actually run multiple radios um, with one amplifier on multiple antennas. So, yeah, and uh, really, really nice, really nice unit. Um, these um, are available through um, uh, Connect VK and um, Ivan Vujic, and Ivan's been doing uh, a lot of innovative products lately. I, um, I bought a Sun SDRDX off him and, um, um, and a few other bits and pieces, and um, it's really good to see you know, Australian support of you know, a few abstract sort of bits that uh, um, Ivan's really great with his um, support on you know, how to get things going, and if you've got a query, give him a call. Um, and uh, he says, set up a nice little shop in um, uh, in um, Power Hills in South Australia, and actually not too far from where I used to live in Goldview Heights once upon a time. And um, and I've seen the, quite a few videos of the showroom and everything. It's really looking good over there. So um, uh, Ivan's doing uh, quite a bit of ham radio and ham radio accessories. So uh, certainly check him out at uh, www.connectvk.com.au. All right, well, that's it for now on that. Um, look, the other one we will probably wait to review that came in today also from Ivan is the um, UR6QW and UX4LA um, uh, little um, touchscreen, uh, little audio unit, to be honest. It's um, uh, equalizer, has compression, noise gate, as you can see, and echo. <laughs> um, but um, this is um, set up for ICOM, and um, it's also set up for balance feed as well. Uh, XLR input etc so you can do balanced unbalanced etc and um, yeah look I've got to say um, we'll um, we'll plug that into the um, probably the 7850 and we'll give that a go as a separate video so um, but yeah this one more on the uh, Mtron ES4 I can highly recommend this you can run you know a couple of thousand watts through this um, if you live somewhere else uh, <laughs> it's, uh, certainly um, you know they're not uh, they're not too scared of having a bit of power. And look at that. Made in Australia. My goodness. That's the bit that I think we've got to support. You know, actually, it's sort of um, partially what the reason I bought it. I like to support Australian products. Um, but don't, yeah, I shouldn't say that. It's not the only reason. I'm, I thought it was a great product um, as well because I, I felt the uh, ability to, you know, very simply check, go through five antennas. Now, I've got three antennas on my uh, HF Auto Palstar. So what we'll do is we'll take one of the outputs uh, from the PowerStar and we'll start running more antennas um, off this here. And, um, you know, quite seriously, we'll probably find that we're really going to be using the output of the PowerStar. I'd be more likely to put the dummy load on the PowerStar, I'd say, um, and um, then, you know, use up these here for all antennas. So, um, and people say, oh, you wouldn't have five antennas on HF. And I would say, no, you'd be wrong. <laughs> it's... Um, Yes, it's very easy to get five antennas on HF, um, especially when you start mucking around with different things. But anyway, highly recommend it. Um, certainly highly, highly recommend uh, Ivan um, at uh, uh, Connect VK. I always think he should have called it VK Connect. I don't, and that's only because I'm stupid. I keep getting it the wrong way around. Anyway, Connect VK is the... Uh, <laughs> um, Ivan has a great range of connectors and lots and bits of pieces. So uh, definitely www.connectvk.com.au. And, uh, you know, you can have a look at what Ivan does for sure. Uh, certainly, he got this to me extremely fast. And, uh, yeah, look, it's a no-nonsense sort of thing. I basically touch base with Ivan. He says to me, yep, they're coming in next week. And guess what? Next week they arrive, and the next thing I know, they're in the mail. And it's here, and, you know, so, look, he's, he's doing a good job. Absolutely. I've certainly got no, uh, no complaints there. 73s from VK3, Charlie Mike. Thanks for having a bit of a look at this uh, little beauty. And um, hopefully we can send a bit of I uh, business Ivan's way for... Uh, look, let me warn you, there's no margin in this stuff. Um, you know, it's, um, uh, I, I think... Um, look, I just can't remember the price. I think it was about high threes, I think. Um, I just can't remember, to be honest. But you know what? It could have been $500. I would have thought it was cheap, to be fair. Um, to get two kilowatts of uh, five antennas, three radio switching... Yep, I, I, I'm, like, I'm going to be the first one to say I would have paid five for it, you know, just to um, uh, to show you that I think Australian made, we're doing it economically too, you know. It, it's very possible for us to produce a product in this country and we don't necessarily have to uh, go overseas every time. So, all good news. Seven threes from VK3, Charlie Mike. Thanks, Ivan. Appreciate your help, mate. All the best. Cheers.